And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to tell you exactly why magnesium is so essential for vitamin D absorption and utilization. In fact, without magnesium, vitamin D is largely useless. Magnesium is a required cofactor for the liver enzymes that convert vitamin D from its inactive storage form, known as calcidiol, into vitamin D's active form, known as calcitriol. This active form has two primary functions. First, calcitriol regulates calcium levels, maintaining the body's overall pH level, and also calcitriol ensures calcium is deposited in the bones. When there is insufficient magnesium, any vitamin D you're taking in, either from sunshine, food, or supplements, will remain inactive. This will increase a person's calcium and phosphate levels, putting them at a clear risk for vascular calcification. By contrast, someone who is taking magnesium daily will require less vitamin D supplementation to achieve optimal vitamin D levels. Magnesium also significantly reduces the risk of osteoporosis, which is often attributed to low vitamin D. And one way that magnesium supports the bones directly is by activating the hormone calcitonin, which removes calcium from the blood and deposits it into the bones. Calcitonin will suppress levels of the parathyroid hormone, which ordinarily draws calcium out of the bones. Magnesium's activation of calcitonin directly maintains this critical balance, helping to avoid both osteoporosis and also some arthritis. When we are deficient in magnesium, as more than 80% of Americans are, this delicate and precise process is interrupted, and absolutely no amount of supplemental calcium will improve it. In fact, Excess calcium intake can actually prevent optimal magnesium absorption. That's right. Large intake of calcium can actually create and or worsen an existing magnesium deficiency. Think about that the next time your doctor urges you to up your calcium intake and or if you're already taking a 1 to 2 calcium magnesium supplement. This is a popular preparation that has exactly twice as much calcium as magnesium. These numbers really need to be reversed. Magnesium soil concentrations have plummeted over the past 50 to 60 years with the rise of industrial agriculture. Also, magnesium deficiency is often extremely low in those who eat processed food, which is often saturated with sugar, phosphate, and oxidized fats. Does this sound like anyone you know? The need for magnesium is clear, and it's even more critical if you're taking lots of vitamin D to support your immune system. So how much magnesium should you take each day? The standard dose for adults is around 400 milligrams, but I think taking a little more, like up to 1,000 milligrams each day, would be even more beneficial. There are several preparations of magnesium, and some of them definitely absorb better than others. My favorite kind is magnesium glycinate, which is magnesium that's bound to the muscle-building amino acid glycine. Unlike magnesium oxide or magnesium citrate, magnesium glycinate is very well retained in the muscle tissue, and it's also beneficial for helping you sleep. Here's an easy way to remember how critical magnesium really is. If calcium is useless without vitamin D, and vitamin D is useless without magnesium, then you should really never look at vitamin D or calcium the same way again. Take your magnesium every day. Your life depends on it. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.